Emoton, who was born between 1380 and 1400, hailed from Ian village, close to the present-day Ottawa cattle market area along the Benin Achu Road. The name her parents gave to her was Duware. As a young woman, she married Chief Azama of Ihobe District as his second wife. Uwari was considered indolent by her husband because she could not cook. She could not get pregnant either. Azama's first wife, Arebe, handled the domestic chores and gave birth to all the children of the household. Azama, son nicknamed Uwari Imatan, corrupted to Imatan, meaning lazy bones. She had a, a rendering feature though. She was good at helping to nurse and take care of a broad of the household. Imatan, who could make Ivabari, a soup seasoning condiment made from ferment melon seeds and spin threads from cotton balls, began taking the, these plus some herbal products to sell at a stall opposite the city market, present day Oba Market. When her husband died, she could not return to her parents' home because they too had died of old age early on. She set up a hut to live in her trading post opposite the marketplace. Her hut soon became a popular makeshift nursery for the children of families patronizing the market. She attended the children's health and other needs selflessly without charging fees, and the kids' parents soon could not have enough of her services. Some historians are of the view of Emmaton was a market woman who took care of her little children whilst their mothers were away buying and selling their words in the open market. They refer to her as the woman who began the first daycare center in Benin City. At the period, Prince Uwafokum usurped the throne to Benin Kingdom, thereby denying his elder brother, Prince Ogun, Oba Uwari I, his legitimate position as king. Prince Ogun is those times of travel paid secret nocturnal visits to Benin from his place of exile. After his ouster by his younger brother, Prince Ogun Obawawari I, found his way to the house of the beautiful woman opposite the marketplace in the city. She was powerful, mystic, and childish. She was also very loving and generous, hence it was in her nature, therefore, to agree to have Prince Ogun as her guest and to help him take back his stolen crown. On many occasions, the marketplace woman called Emmeteen warned Ogun of impeding dangers and advised him against interacting with some treacherous chiefs who may reveal his whereabouts to his younger brother who wanted him dead at all costs. On one occasion, Emmeteen had to go an extra mile spiritually to hide Prince Ogun from his adversary. As soon as the army moved their, uh, the search for the hut to other areas in the vicinity, Prince Ogun sneaked, sneaked out. Avoiding the path of the army, headed straight for the palace where he killed his usurper brother, Oba Muwafakun. The news of his actions soon spread around the city. Ordinary citizens were supportive of his actions, insisting that it was Ogun's right to do what he did in expressing joy and hope that the tragedies of the recent past had ended because justice had prevailed. Imatol sent word to Ogun to stay put in the palace and consolidate his hold while she continued the spiritual work from her home. So deep was her love and empathy for Prince Ogun. Within a few days, the Edeon I seen had come around to show support to Ogun, eventually crowning him as the Oma in Oba Uku Akapalakpolo Oba Iware. His divination's title choice of Oware, alias Iware, could not have been more apt because it means after the heat, the cooling effect of rain. Oba Irare appointed Imotin as the Iyaki leader of the authorized Ekpate Guild, tasked with security matters in the market and with enforcing market rules. Imotin died not too long after Irare's ascension to the throne of his forefathers. The Oba decreed that she could be buried in her hut. Later, the grave was marked with Orare tree, and her defecation as the conscience of justice was ordered by the king. Now, every celebratory procession in Benin pays homage to her burial site. The first Uwahe tree marker survived for some 300 years before it fell, 
the replacement Urare tree survived for about 150 years before the Iroko tree was planted to support it. A severe storm later fell both trees. Then in 1954, Oba Akenzu II, in collaboration with the British colonial authorities, commissioned a life-size bronze statue of Imatine as a young woman. The befitting image was sculpted by a Mr. John A. Danford in the Chelsea London studio in 1951 from a miniature model cast by Egon Street artists.